Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> we all right? We good in the uh, in the li in the live lounge? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to call it the lol's lounge. I, that's all right with all of you guys. I've got. I've got very few principles in this life, but that's one of them. Also, because we're in the live lounge, yeah. we're amongst musical history. This is the very room in which the kooks covered Foster the People's pumped-up kicks. <laughs> if you can imagine such a thing. Real musical heritage right here. I'm playing for time, basically, because I'm quite nervous about um, what I've got to talk to you about tonight. Uh, Susie's already come out with a cold and heartless set. Um, I believe in love, uh, but unfortunately what I don't believe in, according to the brief that I've been set for tonight, is sex. <laughs> I'm here to discuss that thorny issue of have, have, have we all have we all have we all um, dipped dipped our toe in the uh, <laughs> we've all tried I, for for those of you listening at home um, you're not uh, listening to a man who looks like an authority on um, on the subject I'll be honest this isn't the um, <laughs> this isn't the face or voice of a of a, of a seasoned uh, seasoned pro. Um, <laughs> Me coming in to pass judgment on, on, on sex is very much like uh, inviting Van Gogh around to check out your new surround sound speakers. Um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll give it my best shot. Um, I, was, I was fairly sort of... Uh, I, I heard a lot about sex as a teenager. People were, people were always talking about it. Um, and I saw a few vids. Um, but um, <laughs> I, um, it's, uh, I felt very much about it the same way I felt about swing ball and heavy metal, a mixture of um, bafflement and fear. I... Um, Mainly because I'm sure you've heard you as a teenager remember hearing people first talking about sex. You're saying, have you heard about this, uh, this cool thing all the, uh, all the cool kids are doing now? It's, uh, it's clumsy, it's emotionally damaging, it's very messy. <laughs> Best case scenario, you ruin a duvet. Worst case scenario, you create a life. No thanks. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll stick to FIFA. I, um, no, I wasn't given much of a chance, not much of a chance by my group of friends at school. I was actually bet by my group of friends uh, that I would be the person in the group uh, who would not have sex until after the end of school. Uh, which I didn't see as much, so much of an insult as much of a challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> and how proud I was to surpass their expectations by an, an entire additional educational establishment. Um, <laughs> No, I, I didn't have sex until after university uh, because um, I was warned by my mother before arriving at university not to have, not to have sex in uh, Freshers' Week um, because uh, no one respects anyone who has sex in Freshers' Week. <laughs> it's a good piece of parental advice, I think. The only danger I would say in that is um, I got too addicted to that damn respect. I, um, by the time I left university four years later, I was pretty much the most respected man on campus. <laughs> if anything, that started to feel like a bit of a hollow, a hollow victory. I... Um, no, I mean, because uh, it's very much... My, my problem with it is a sort of overrated thing. I've no doubt it's got an important sort of civilization maintaining role. That's fine. Um, do your worst. Um, but, uh, but in terms... Otherwise, I think it's just one of those things... It's, it's like a sort of thing on the things to do before you die list, really. It's more of a sort of proud... It's not a regular necessity. Someone said to me as a teenager, have you had sex? I said, well, have you read Anna Karenina? No, I am... Um, <laughs> they're both equally difficult achievements. I am... Um, but no, this is a bit disingenuous because uh, because I, I'm, I'm I, well. I want to say I saw the error of my ways. Um, for the last uh, few months, um, I have I have I've I've been um, I've been seeing seeing a woman. Um, is, is is she my girlfriend? Yes and no. That's, uh, that's, uh, that, that's my response and her response respectively. Um, but um, there's been. But, but it's but it has it has undeniably happened, and I'm not going to talk about um, the sex itself. Don't worry, uh, which to be honest has been an ordeal. Um, uh, don't if you, haven't, if you haven't tried, don't believe the hype. Um, Alton Towers a lot more fun on the internet as well. But um, I uh, but there, there are there are, I mean there are side benefits aren't there in terms of, sort of general pride. I'll, I'll run you through the um, probably the best moments so far, uh, which is the first night I went back to hers. We um, uh, we kissed at a party. I don't need to tell you how these things work. You've you've seen the films. Um, <laughs> We kissed up at a party, and we then shared a taxi from the party, uh, from, uh, from the party, because uh, basically her flat was halfway between the party and my flat. Um, so we thought, drop her. It was, it was a taxi of purely geographical convenience. Um, <laughs> but she, she knew my game. And um, we pulled up outside the, the party, and uh, pulled up outside her flat, sorry, and she said, uh, she said actually, um, you can just come up and stay the night here if you want. That's not the exciting bit of the story, Radio One. The exciting bit of the story is getting to say to the taxi driver, Actually, mate, uh, we'll both be getting off here if that's all right. <sighs> Mixed response to that in the lol's lounge. That's the greatest moment of my life so far. <laughs> Take it or leave it. 
You'd understand more if you could have seen his face. The taxi driver's face reflected back in the wing mirror, the most amazing mix of emotions. Um, <laughs> obvious displeasure at refer being referred to as mate by a posh child. Um, <laughs> and some frustration at the loss of earnings. Um, <laughs> but also, I think, a sort of paternal pride in my achievement. Um, uh, and if anything, I think that would probably prove my point best of all, that the, the most over, uh, sex is overrated because I did not take pride in having sex. I took pride in impressing a taxi driver. Um, <laughs> that's what I've taken from the experience, and that's what you should too. Um, this has been a shambles, but it's been an absolute honour. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Goodbye. Can we please give it up for Ivo the Boffer Graham? Can we just say that? Ivo the Boffer Graham. Yes, love it. Buffer, buffer, buffer. Well done, Ivo.